Hi family, welcome to my channel. Today I am here to do um, a smoky eye. I got inspiration from a James Charles photo. So um, today I'm going to be using the Morphe. I do have the James Charles palette, but I just felt like this one is just so pretty and just I feel like I will get the same um, effect of the picture. I don't have the picture on me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this black down here. So what it was, was it's like a wing and then it curves up and it's like smoked out and then it's like a pretty cream sparkly color. So if I don't use this one, I might go into one in his palette. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and jump into that black shade. So I am going to be looking down a little bit because I have the mirror right here, literally. So I'll be looking back and forth into the camera um, and at the mirror. So I'm just going to take an angled brush like this. This is a real technique. Um, I believe it's a, probably an eyebrow um, brush. I think I got it with the set. So I'm just going to take this and like I said, it's just a small angle. So I'm going to dip into that black shade. And I'm just going to tap off any excess. And I'm going to look down right here. And I'm going to probably go like at an angle. Like as if I'm doing my winged liner. So just like that. And I have my eyes prepped and everything so i have i laid down some l'oreal concealer and then i went over top of it with ciate london it's like a finishing setting powder and then yeah now i'm going over it with this i was trying to remember but yeah um my face is primed and prepped i have on the next marshmallow primer um i'm using a glow recipe pineapple serum and then a moisturizer okay so now that I have that I'm going to drag it this way like so oh my god oh it looks so pretty um so I would go into my crease, but I feel like I don't have real bad hooded eyes, but like when I look straight, I do have a little fault there. So I didn't want to bring it into here, but I think I'm going to probably erase this and go ahead and like meet it in there. I don't know, but maybe i shouldn't no i'm gonna leave it like this because i like it like this and then once we put the color and everything like it'll just look way nice okay so so yeah this is basically pretty much what he had and then he just like blended it out and then, like i said filled it in and stuff did liner all that good stuff so yeah so now that i have the line um, I'm going to take a blendy brush. I'm, I might do this one. It's a Precision Blending by Shayna B. Miami. I got it. Um, where did I get this brush? I think I got it through Ipsy. Hold just one second. I need some water. Mm. Mm. Okay, so, yeah, this is where I got that brush. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. 
probably with this light shade that's in here this brown I mean I'm sorry it's like a gray like a white gray I don't know it's pretty and I don't want it like too deep because his wasn't like blended out a lot so I'm gonna swirl my brush around and my little cleaning thing so yeah so I don't want it like too intense so I'm gonna just see how that looks so I'm just gonna look down my mirror and I'm gonna start blending around it just to kind of smoke it out and then um, we'll go back and redefine that line like okay so I mean yeah that it's it's a good shade to blend it out with. I just didn't want to like to do that. So I ordered some makeup. I think I like a full face of makeup from Miss A. And um so I'm gonna be, you know, getting that together. A video for when that arrives. I believe it's gonna be here Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, like, how it's blending out. Let me, like, get up close a little bit, so. I'm just, you know, following the wing, making sure that I get it nice and blended. I don't like this harsh line, so I'll probably just go over it with, like, a big blendy brush. Um, I think I'm gonna take this is a bean gachis tapered blending number seven again this is something that I got from my ipsy sorry if I didn't say the name right you can't even really see it but yeah um anyways it looks like this it's just a big blended brush so I'm just going to blend down what I just blended just around. Sorry, let me bring my mirror back this time. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. So I got rid of that line that was there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into that black shade. And I'm going to redefine this line. And pull it in a little, like right there. And I'm just going to flick this out a little bit more. Ooh. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. So, I love the way this look is coming out. Um, I feel like the lighting, though, it's, like, not... I don't know. Maybe that's a little bit better. Yeah, it's alright. It's better than the bright one. That way you can, like, see. Like, really see. Like, mm. it just came out so pretty. And then once I laid down the sparkly stuff, like I said, um, it was, like, a sparkly eyeshadow. Um, real pretty. I'm pretty sure there's something in his palette. But I'm gonna have to get that out. So, I'm gonna do this eye. And then I'll come back 
so we can put the base color that or the other color that's gonna go here and everything so I'll be right back okay so I have both my eyes done I tried to get them as even as possible but for being my first time I mean I feel like it looks good so in the James Charles palette, I thought maybe that there would be, like, a shade that he had on his eyes in here. But there's not. It's, like, a frosty white, almost. But, I don't know. Like, this is showing up kind of like a frosty white on camera. But it's not. Let me see. It's because I have a swatch on one of my fingers. But, um... Uh, Oh, yeah. Never mind. In the pan, it does look more champagne. But, no, that does. Okay, so, but I did do this swatch, which is in the other palette. But I think... Uh, I mean, they're both pretty, but I think I'm going to go with this one. Just because that's what I look like in the picture. So, let me just swatch them on my hand so I can see the difference, which... The glittery one is really pretty. So, this one's the Jim Charles. And this one is the glittery one, which, oh, that is nice. But no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it the way the picture has it. So, I'm going to take a brush like this after I clean it. Because it's dirty, girl. I used it yesterday. I did a pink look. So, it's kind of like a shader brush which it's an all over shadow brush is what it is so i'm going to take that color and put it all over my lid so and if y'all hear any noise it's my one-year-old son so i'm gonna look down and i'm going to start hi, hi having that color in there. Mm. No. Don't touch. No. Okay. Wow. That is actually really pretty. I mean, I feel like it's not doing justice on camera. I'm going to put a little bit here on the front though with my finger. Like so. And then I'm going to just blend it out here on the front. And then I'm probably going to go in and read to find that line at the top again. So let me fill in this eye, do that, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I went ahead and put that color on both of my eyes. I redefined um, the black part, the liner. So now I'm going to go in with uh, my Tardius Tarte Liquid Eyeliner, the double-ended one. This is like my favorite eyeliner like i don't care that it's 24 dollars. i don't care i love it it's so good so what i'm thinking of doing and i hope that this does turn out good because i don't have the pic picture for reference um i'm recording on my phone so i can't even look it up either um and i don't feel like going and getting my laptop and all that so anyways um what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to connect, you know, and do like a regular wing liner too. So I hope that it comes out good. So I'm going to start about right here. 
And I'm just gonna do my eyeliner like I normally would. And fill it in like so. Wow. I just really, really love this eyeliner. And I love the way the look came out. Or is coming out so far. Because I'm not done yet. Okay, so. Mm, I don't know. I feel like it looked way better without the liquid liner, but mm, I mean, it's still nice. I still like it. So I guess I'm going to put on my lashes and everything and then finish up my face and we'll come back and do a lip. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'll be back. Okay, so I have lashes and stuff on. I know I said that I wasn't going to come back until, you know, I was going to do my lips. But I thought I would get on here and share because I haven't really played with this. I think I've probably used it like once or twice. So I don't like really remember how it worked. But um, I am going to go in before I go in with my foundation, which is... The True Match Lumi by L'Oreal. And I am in the color Sun Beige W6. Love this stuff. So before I put that on, just because, I mean, I feel still, like, not hydrated enough. I mean, I know I look nice and glowy on camera. And I am. I mean, my skin feels good, but I want a little bit of extra moisture. So I'm going to go in with the Watermelon Glow um Nia Cinemite Nia Cinemite Dewdrop sorry um yeah so I'm gonna go in with this before I go on with my foundation so I just wanted to get on and share that real quick so I'll be back okay guys oh my gosh I love the way it turned out the whole look oh it looks so pretty. I look so sculpted. Ooh. I love a good makeup day. So, yeah. So, I went ahead. I finished up. I put um, contour. It's just this palette by Lovecraft Beauty. I went in with the L'Oreal and then I came back and mentioned the Glow Recipe Drops. And um, then I went in with the L'Oreal Concealer and then I said it with Wet and Wild. And blush is Patrick Ta. I don't know the exact color. I don't know even where I put it. And then the highlight is Fenty Beauty. I believe it's the Diamond Bomb. So yeah. So anyway, so I'm thinking of going in with like nude lips. Probably like this brown. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have a mirror right here. So I start at the bottom. And then and then I'll work my way to the top. So okay, so now I'm gonna go on with the Wet and Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse and the color Flutter Mutter, I think. And, oh, this is new. I think I just got this, like, oh, my God, I broke it. Okay, 
All right, let me stop playing with that. Okay. So, yeah, I broke it messing around. Okay, so anyway, so I just cleaned off as much as possible. It is new. It does smell like marshmallows, so... I'm just gonna place it here. And then just like blend around. Okay, so here's the lip color on. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, this, I don't want this video to be any longer. So, thank y'all for tuning in with me thank you for doing my makeup with me don't forget wherever you're watching whether it's tiktok facebook youtube don't forget to like subscribe um follow comment whatever share with your friends whatever um so yeah thank you and i will see you in my next one bye